Greetings and welcome back to Prosper's Universe. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. so we've uh, been doing some bit of mostly maintenance work, just keeping production cycles running, building up some stock, and planning what to do next. And we have a, a few things to be working on. So before we get the actual plan for what we're going to be doing, some bases need a bit of a rebuild. So we have yes, seventy-six percent on the Bertha base. The Bertha base needs a rebuild. Um, and I believe it's Earthwind as well. 98 and you are good. You're at 73. Yep, Earthwind needs a rebuild. Uh, Auto C also needs a rebuild. And Apothecary Carrier is good. Okay, so we've got three bases needing a rebuild. Um, two of them should already have resources on site. The uh, Auto C, which is in need of a rebuild, will have to just wait a little bit. 92% uh, of there, so I'm not too worried about you right now. We've planted down 84, so we need to be doing these in the next week or so. So I will send resources out there. But before we do that, let's go deal with our other two. Earth Wind, which was out at 70%. Uh, so the best way to do this is to cancel off an item from each one. Clear that down. And clear that one down. But you know what, let's do a full reset. I haven't done a full reset in a while of production queues. They get a bit messed up over time as well. So let's just cancel all productions in here. And then we'll do a, a new restack all orders in a uh, in one full production run and one half production run to stack them out again. Because occasionally I get um, I miss the, the timers on them and they get out of sync with each other. So. We'll do a, we'll do a reset on this base as, as well. This is a good base to do resets on. It doesn't actually require all that much in the lines of materials. Also, look how full it is. So we need to get this done and then sell some of that water off or transport it out. All right. First things first. I believe. Yeah, this base doesn't have a ship, so all the resources should be on site. So, uh, Earthwind. You should have a construction menu and a buildings menu. Perfect. So. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the food processor side. There we go. Uh, we do have BDs and BSEs and everything else over here, so we should have enough to do it all. So, uh, on the pioneers, we'll do the food processors first. The food processors, there we are. And we've got the food processors on this side. Rigs, 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 a lot of rigs. Food processors. Okay, so we build one, delete one. No, we do that way. So, we, no, we delete one build one, that's probably the best way doing it. So you're at 73%, delete you, build you. Then 73%, and build you. This way around, we don't build too many by accident, but at the same time, we don't uh, build the wrong amount. Delete you, build you, food processor 73%, delete you, build you. 73. These are really these are like old buildings, you see. Ooh, thinking about it. Thinking about it. There we go. 71% uh, on that one. And 71% on that one. There we go. And now we're 99.9, even though we haven't used them yet, so they should really be at their 100% uh, mark, shouldn't they? Alright, next up is all the rigs. We've got all these rigs here. Rig, 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 rig. Right, and over here we should have reason to resources. There they are. Pull you up a little bit. All right, so we'll start with you. Delete a rig. Build a rig. Delete a rig. Build a rig. Doop it, doop it, doop it, doop it. Whoop. Whoop. Sixty-nine percent on that one. 69. Do, 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 do. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can just delete them all and then build them all back. Or in this case, we actually have enough spare capacity. We could uh, delete, uh, build a couple of spares. But I wanted to get the, the whole um, the whole rebuild and the resync done. That should be the last one. Uh, and then 99%. So there we go. Nothing else to do on this base here. So let's set this base up for its production run. So it's a 4 and 4. So we set you up for drinking water, uh, do half speed on the first one, so 
one, two, three, four, and then full on the second lot, one, two, three, four, and then you do full from there on. The rigs, again, we'll do the same. We'll do one, two, three, four, five on that one, then one, two, three, four, five, then maximum all the way down. Right, that base has been rebuilt and it's ready to go. Uh, we've got a day and a bit, well, day and a half before the cycle's complete, which is good for that base. Okay, but we also have a, a ship over on Bertha with some cargo, I believe. Nope, cargo's been removed. So to Bertha, which is my prefab base, you are also needing a clear down 68%, uh, 76%, and 76%. Yeah, you need a clear down as well. Uh, do we do the same full clear down for you? It's not really needed in this base as much because the AL and the ALO do get out of sync, but they're, they're not, it's not a bigger site, so it's not a big issue. Let's just clear down the back orders so there's nothing in the queue for these. There we go. And um, can we even build on the site first? Because well? it also depends on how big the site is. Um, that don't need to be there. Construction and buildings, please. Our spare capacity on the building site is. Oh, we got we got thin space, so we might need to knock up down to build stuff. Let's do the extractors first, then. Uh, we have three extractors, so one, two, three, and then here we should find the extractors. One, two, three. There we go. Extractors are done. Next up is the smelters. Four smelters. They'll be over in Pioneer's tab for smelters. One, two, three, four. And then smelters, 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 smelters. There we are. One, two, three, four. Alright, and finally we have PP2s, which are a settler base building. PP2, PP2. There we are. One, Two, and then demolish the old PP twos. Boop, 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 and boop, boop. There we go. As you can see, we do have the material here to expand this base out, which we may do if we need more PP twos. Otherwise, we might keep this base sparse capacity available for other things to be built. Because I do actually have our, our plans, and I think Bertha has a lot of expansion can build in. Now do we expand out the PP2 facility or do we expand out its uh, its capabilities of everywhere else? And the reason I'm asking that is we have a lot of polygranulate around so we could do some stuff like that. We could expand this base out quite substantially um, with extra resources. But that's something to discuss later on. Um, and so if we're going to push out, if we need more um, tier 2 uh, L, L, L grade prefabs. Alright, so that's the two main buildings done. Well, where are my ships right now? I have a ship on Bertha. Let's actually take the extra resources back home. Don't need to be holding them here. So BBH can come back. BDE can come back. BSE back. Uh, I always send out all the resources required to do the build, the full build. Um, regardless of what resources we get back, that way I'd actually calculate it. It's just a little bit easier. Um, where are you? BBH 18 is a bit low. MCG can come back with us. And trusses can come back with us. And there we go. Alright, you can come back. Any L prefabs ready? No. Four hours, but I'm going to send the ship home anyway. So off you go to prom. And when you get there, you'll be good. Now, we also have the Earthwind base that needed a bit of a rebuild, wasn't it? Uh, not Earthwind. Earthwind's been done. It has some spare resources up there, which we'll pick up later. Uh, we should send the ship out there actually soon to get the DW back. Um, but you know what we could do? We'll try something else. We haven't done it yet on the camera. Let's go and do a market contract from Earthwind shipping contract uh, DW. Now the maximum DW you can bring back, I believe, is three thousand. Let's go check that. Out. I have a tab for flight here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want data. My right, ship planner, DW. Uh, DW. 4,000 in the ship. Right, okay, so you can get 4,000 in the ship. So we can ask this lot to bring a 3,000 load back. Or we can wait a bit and get the full 4,000. You know what? How much do we have on problem right now? 
DWDW. We have six thousand on prom right now. Uh, we'll get we, we'll keep the three thousand on on Earthwind for now, and then once the uh, once it's ready to move, moved, we can bring it back. Uh, okay, I'm actually kind of thinking we just do it anyway. Just to, yeah, well, let's do it anyway. Let's bring the entire three thousand back. Um, okay, so here's how you do it. Prometer, Earthwind, you set up a shipping contract. You say it's probably going to be DW. We're bringing in the contract. We'll pay a thousand for the. the no, okay. Wait, three thousand units to be shipped. We're going to use the ICA currency, and we'll say we'll pay a thousand ICA to for this shipping. Now you can do it higher, you can do it lower, but we'll we'll that's how you do it. Uh, I think I'm going to go for probably fifteen hundred. It's it's most of a ship actually. Uh, then here in the origin, you type in. You tell me where you want to come from. So it's going to be Earth or Wind, and where you want the destination to be, which will be from. Uh, you can, if you can set it to nothing like that, and if somebody accepts the contract, then you have to press the button to give them the resources. Or you can pick the ship or a base and the, or a warehouse, and as soon as somebody accepts the contract, it will automatically provision it. I'm going to leave it at a three day provision. Uh, you know what? We don't need the resource that much, so it's a five day provision. Uh, so in fact we have the five days to deliver it. Uh, don't care about the, you know what I think. Uh, give it two days to be noticed, and we'll leave it at the P. The good thing about shipping contracts is that no one tells us in the shipping contract, so there's no reason to increase or decrease the uh, the requirements here. So I'll leave it at P, and post the ad. So over here you can see a shipping contract for 300 ton of a 400 ton ship for 1500. Is going between these two planets. Now, if you look at somebody else's here, this person's doing a full ship for 5,000. So you could argue that ours is a bit low on price, but uh, it's there. Um, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of more people doing. Ooh, actually, people are paying decent prices now. I've seen people paying ridiculous, like 200 tons for like 500 ICA. It, was, it never made sense. But for the most part, most people coming out, they're going back either empty or they're going back with a little bit of space left. So if they can take it, take it. If not, then I'll have it about there soon. Right, uh, so that's just, that's the contract done. The ships, we do have a ship site here who is nearly empty on fuel. So let's get you topped up before we forget about you, because we will forget about you by accident. Uh, fuel and fuel. I went checking for fuel this morning in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, could the FF be fuel me, please? I did ask you to do so. Hello. Right, drain all your fuel out and then put fuel in. Okay, that was weird. All right, so we have a ship sat there that's empty. We, one thing we haven't done for a long while, if you haven't done a full actual uh, consumable usage update, and I haven't done one for a long, long while, um, I've been just sort of keeping an eye on it by high. So let's do a proper stock check on the basis, see how they're holding up. Okay, let's do it. Prometer. Let's see. Prom let's bring up the cargo inventory. Okay, so Prometer, what is your cargo like? We have rations of 1300 and drinking water of 6290. 6290. And rations were 1300. Overalls are at 241. Coffee is at 223. PWO is a lot lower than that. Nine. Yeah, we need to get some PWO up and running soon. Uh, exoskeletons, but we don't actually use those in this base anymore, so we're going to ignore those. Right, Bertha, 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 Bertha. Uh, 1800 and 1660. Here we go. Uh, say overalls, 96. Coffee, 180. PWO, 18. Exo. 72 repair packs 35 and 33 uh, oxygen is 216 flux is 1054 carbon 248 glass is 696 ah. nylon is at 86 Polygranulate is at 37,185. 
Ah. No. I want to put 37,000. There you go. Uh, and polyethylene is at 5,200. There we go. Uh, since we set up the, uh, the the PG base, we have been making a lot of PG, and we've been able to keep up with the demand. It's gets to the point where if we, we might be able to actually expand the birth base, which we couldn't do before, which is why I'm considering it's expanding it. Alright, uh, WN, what is your situation like? WN, you're at 1000 rat and 1000 DW. Uh, 17 overall, which is not good. Coffee situation is 160. PWO situation is 14. PWO is low across the board, isn't it? 87. 612. 140. 108 and 27 100. Yeah, the uh, looks like WN is going to need a little bit of attention bit of more than everybody else right now. The problem is, I've got a lot of uh, iron sat on this base, um, nearly 300 units worth, and nobody's wanting to buy it. And the people that were buying it, um, they were shipping it out to their bases in different places, they were bringing limestone in. So, because they're not bringing limestone in anymore. And I'm not super, so I'm not selling the iron. I've got a large stock of iron on the site, and I'm running low on limestone again. Unfortunately. All right. Uh, you have the EPO base. Uh, EPO base is the apothecary. I see you are at five, what's it, four sixty nine and four four three. You are running low, but not too bad overall. So thirty three. Coffee is at thirteen. G, you're running low. PWO is at eighty nine. The one thing you're not low on is something everybody else is low on, nice. Um, 58, repair packs and PTs, 24 and 48. Water is at 48. Carbon is at 268. Oxygen and hydrogen, please, 276. And finally, for you, hydrogen, 136. Alright, so we need to get out there at some point with some resources. We've got four days before the water runs out. So that's not too big an issue. Right, DW base. That one will be Earth or Wind. And we're looking at 1300 rat. We've got to do DW on that base because it makes DW. Overalls are at 80. Coffee is at 193. PWO is at 19. And Polygranulate is at 3500. Okay. Finally, hard to see. Where are you hiding? Bone corner. Uh, we're going to see we're at 592 and 495. Overalls are at 212. Coffee is at 241. PWO is at 28. Exoskeletons. Why would you have exoskeletons? Oh, you're hard to see. Yes, you would do. 49. Repair packs, 23. Power tools at 7. Carbon is 254. Uh, MG is at 144. And hydrogen. Hydrogen? Hydrogen, hydrogen. 173. Alright, we've done the full stop check for the, all the bases. And you. We are not far off uh, running, needing, but I can buy yards off the market and we can make it quickly. And you actually are okay because most of these are spread. So we can come to you later when we need to. Uh, see you, WN, you need some attention right now. You, yeah, you need some attention to Okay, that's good, we can get out there. But WN needs some attention. I might have some shipping contracts to do with, to help with this as well. Yeah. Um, okay, what do we have over here? Uh, you also need attention. You're going to run out of water soon. Uh, you can be left alone for a bit, and you need some attention, but it's not critical. Okay, let's start with WN, shall we? WN, WN. Alright, overalls. You need 83 overalls. Let's get what we can in the ship, heading out there. And then what we can't get in the ship, we put into a, a, a tra training contract. Um, Alright, so we want to send out at least. Alright, so we need 83 overalls to do this, so 
83 overalls. Overalls, overalls, overalls. They give you a full 100. Should overstock you. Then, yeah, let's overstock the base if we can. So these are light items anyway. 200 overalls. So you'll be getting 200. Provisionally. Um, PWO, you need at least 26. Um, we're going to be low on those anyway. And we can't make it very quickly. And it's nothing not in my stock anyway. So let's just buy a bunch of that. Uh, gloves. So they're basic, they're luxury consumable. PWO. Uh, 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 uh. We need a fair bit of this. Let's see. Can I get 500 units? I can get 500 units. I wasn't quite sure if there were 500 there, but I just a quick glance at the market. Okay. So back to the inventories. How many do you need? You need 26. Okay, well, we can spare full 100. And if I give you 100, that'll make you 114. 111, I'll say just round it down. 55 days, you don't need to worry about that one for a while. Right, oxygen, carbon, limestone, polyethylene. Okay, polyethylene. You need 2100. But you're not going to get that because we don't have it in stock. We have 8000 we can take with us. There we go. 8000 will do, right? Uh, we're in the next batch of polyethylene coming off the market in a day and 20. Okay. And so that's, that's that deal dealt with. We can't do much about that value. So the spare capacity is left. We need 160 carbon and 652 limestone. So if I look at the carbon, carbon, we haven't got the carbon in. Do we have the limestone in? But I'm going to need to buy that carbon anyway. Um, so what I'll do is I'll contact my carbon supplier who is over on a Pocavere, no, or not a C, to even get some more carbon purchased. And if they do, we can ship it out from there. So we can take limestone from here. Go. Is there anything else you're short of? Oxygen. 213 oxygen and 650. Yeah, okay, so we do this. 113. So we're just at 208, we'll say. There we go. You get flying out to WN, please. 599 alpha. And fly. It'll be 17 hours when you get there. Uh, the other ship should be on its way. Back it. We'll be back at prom between 12 hours and we'll send you out with some stuff to different places. But now we've got a bit of a stock take done. Okay, now <coughs> we do have some more stuff here we want to ship out. So 213 oxygen. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have, actually have the oxygen in stock first for this as well. So do I have oxygen? Do I have oxygen? I don't. Okay. To my purchase gases. Oxygen. Give me 300 oxygen for 60. There we go. So we have oxygen in now. How much do we need the ship out? 213. How much can you put on the ship? Where do I want to do the max? There it is, the ship planners. I haven't used them in a while, so I haven't been really paying attention to a lot of the shipping stuff. How much oxygen can I put on a ship? Uh, Three hundred? Four hundred. I wish I had one of these to what the maximum is, rather than having to figure out the way out. Ah. Data. I have the data here so we can do it, but okay, oxygen. 350 is the maximum you can put on a ship, really? 350? A weird number. Uh 350. Okay, 350. Uh how much do we need to well, how much do we need to uh, ship? Oh oxygen. Let's do a full ship then, three fifty. Alright. Contracts, Prometer, Post Ad, um, Shipping Contract for Oxygen, uh, 350 units of Oxygen, paying in ICA, we'll pay 2000 for the trip there. <coughs> Prometer, and to WN599 Alpha. Uh, auto provision from the base, you've got five days to do it in, 
Uh, we'll leave the add visibility of one and go. If you're going out that way to uh, Prometheus, feel free to pick up uh, to WN when you get there. Feel free to pick up one of the iron orders. They're, they're eighteen thousand each, um, which means you can sell them. It's eighteen. It's eighteen thousand each, and you get fifty units, which is the iron three hundred sixty each. And if you want to bring it back to Prometheus, for example, to sell it. Uh, you can sell for 5 for 24 each, so you're making a decent profit just by going up there and grabbing the iron and coming back. <clears throat> and that's what I'm going to do when I get out there. I'm going to grab the iron and bring it back with me anyway, with my spec capacity. But you can just grab an order and fill your ship for the return journey. And you get even more money if you go to the other, some of the other planets as well. Right, that's the, uh, that's the oxygen dealt with. So I'll put that to 400 just so it doesn't light up my screen anymore. Carbon I can't do until I buy it from my rider. The LST, we need 552 limestone. I think it's 140 something limestone. Yeah, 146. So I need to put two 146 orders to get out there. But it might be worth putting more out. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, 146. Uh, that divided by 146. Uh, Sure, really? Oh. That divided by 146. So I need at least three orders. We'll say four orders. So let's do that. Uh, let's go. Uh, <coughs> I don't actually have the limestone in, that's a problem. I have orders for limestone. People want to supply me with it, but nobody seems to want to supply me with it. Alright, well, let's get the orders placed. What was it? Uh, I need 600 units. Uh, what do I have in stock? 280. So we need to come buy some. Some condom pigments? No, condom minerals. Limestone. Let's buy the whole 600 that we need. Uh, the price of 140. That should give us the ability to get the whole lot. There we go. My stock is going to be quite high, I promise. My cargo. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to deal with that in a moment. Um, I have to have any I haven't sold yet as well. That will obviously help us. But what's my limestone capacity here? Limestone is at 700. Good. I can ship it all out. So, limestone orders. Shipping. LST. Limestone. 146. Currency is ICA. We'll pay 2,000 to trip from Prometer to WN599 Alpha. No, I saw you change position when I did that. Alpha. Auto position from the base. You've got five days to deliver it. And we, you need... Actually, what we thought thought it's 146 per wrong. Uh, we have 759. 146 per run equals that divided by that. We have five runs worth, so let's place five orders in there. If people to grab them, they can grab them. Uh, and I'll actually place these for two days so they can the bot chance for them being grabbed. So one, two, three, four, five. Now if we go and look in this LMs, shipping contract, yeah. I have five orders up, so feel free to grab any of those if you've got a ship available. Um, it's almost a full ship, but then you can get there and grab the grab the contracts, head out there, and do them. Apparently, somebody's actually done some of already. Ah, <laughs> uh, these are the uh, limestone that I can't get in my base. Oh, sorry, I wonder why they're all like. No items on them. They won't be able to pick up right now. Uh, that's because my base is too full. Um, so if you if you buy something and your base is from the exchanges and your base is too full, they appear as contracts in here. And you see the partner is the uh, exchange. It threw me out for a second. Let's go and get rid of the uh, the excess iron that we've got in the base right now. Uh, iron. Let's just sell it as cheap as we can. Get it out of the stock. Put all 43 units since I don't use it on the site. And we'll sell it for... 200 just to guarantee it sells. There we go. 
And that should bring a little bit of my stock down. And then should be able to go and dump some water, I believe. 1400 water. What's the most heaviest thing I'm carrying, actually? The heaviest thing the base has right now is you can get limestone and water. Okay, well, let's get rid of some limestone. Uh, some water. Let's get rid of a thousand of the water. Water, water, water. I need to build another storage thing here, actually. It's my hub, so it needs to have a lot of storage, so. 1,000 water. We sold in the market at a price of 22. There we go. That should really help out with our current stores. Yep, and that means I should be able to go to the markets here and actually accept those LMs now. One. Two. Three. There we go. We are now full of all our orders. Uh, you have picked up yours and not picked it up yet. Okay. Uh, can I actually afford to build another storage thing at uh, problem? It would be nice to have an extra one. Uh, storage is at the bottom. I'm six, five BDE short. I can make it, but it's just going to be a hassle. And I think it's worth actually doing it. Let's just buy them. Uh, Prefabs, BDEs. Um, five short? Yeah. Five BDEs at price of 1600. And build my storage facility. There we go. So I'm happy I have my storage facility built. And um, Prom should now have loads of spare, to, uh, the spare capacity to keep the place running nicely. Alright, that's all dealt with. We can't do much more than that. We've been going for 30 minutes. So here's the two, just some of things I've noticed as well. Um, they've added these little question marks for here, so people don't really know what they're doing in the game. On these, it takes you to their uh, the online guides, which are quite cool because it gives you access to some information that you tend to lose once you get rid of the uh, the tabs at the bottom. Um, I'll deal with the other bases in a bit. You are in need of stuff, aren't you? The CR911 is going to irritate me. What I'll do is I'll wait till my ship gets back <clears throat> from Bertha and then fill what I can into the ship and then get shipping contracts and deal with the excess. Um, because that's the way I'm doing it. Because if you could create like a big cargo container that had like 15 different items in it, that'd be great. But you since you can't do that, you can only work on one item per shipping contract. It's just fiddly setting up like 10 different shipping contracts to fill this up. But we'll work it out, I'm sure. Alright, uh, let's make sure we go to right. So I have a project on mind. Uh, so let's go plan this project, shall we? Um, but at this point, I'm not going to plan it right now, because the episode is running a little bit long if we do. So we'll leave it there, and we'll come back in another episode in a couple of days' time, maybe tomorrow, where I'm going to plan the whole next project out. It's going to be more of a planning episode, um, figuring out what resources we're going to need, what we're going to build, where we're going to build it, that kind of stuff. Um, less actual function, more probably spreadsheet -y. But let me know what you think when you see that episode, if it's kind of the things you'd like to see. But uh, until next time, have fun with the game. Bye! <laughs>